everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. You guys, today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do a flip through of my budget planner. I'm going to tell you exactly what planner I have, the reason why I'm using this, why I like it, um, where most things come from. Um, mostly in here is from me. Uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Planner Babes, Michelle asked for an updated flip through and I have kind of updated it and did the side tabs and all of that great stuff. But first off, this cover is from Cloth and Paper. I didn't get the class and I'm so glad I didn't. I just wanted to be kind of open so that I can just kind of, you know, open it, flip through it. Um, over here, I don't think she's in business anymore. Um, I can't remember her name, but these were like a download and it had the like seven baby steps. I never noticed this. I had this and didn't notice this. Anyhow, um, so I can't think of her name, but she's, uh, uh, I can't think of her name, but she's no longer in business, but they were like some downloads and you cut them out yourself. This is from Coco Mini Plans. I just stuck this in here because these were some freebies with an order that I got and I just liked them and I needed to put them somewhere. And with my other planner, my A6, it just wasn't part of the aesthetic. So I just stuck it in here. Um, just for a little bit of, you know, make me a little happy when I <laughs> do start the budget. And here, I always forget about this, but I have a fake $1 million bill and just a little note to myself, like a um, affirmation, so that I always see that because, of course, we want more than a million, but just to kind of keep me in a million dollar mindset. <clears throat> and then here I have this from, oh, I can't remember, but it's very thin. I don't know. I think it's Sessa V. And it's a goals card and I just have my goals and the month here was April that probably was last year maybe not this year and I just keep it here to um, help me remind me to you know of some goals some things that I like to do monetary wise as far as my shop um, as far as the salon um, you know just YouTube all that great stuff I uh, don't remember this name. I'm sorry, but I think it's it's not Annie Plans. It may be Annie Plans. Lucy Plans? I think it's Lucy Plans. And it's just a finance um, vellum. And, you know, just a breakdown. Income breakdown. 50% needs. 20% wants. 20% 20, 20 investments. 10% savings. Emergency fund wants. Side income. Passive income. Just, again, some little reminders. And this is my inbox dashboard. I like to keep little um, sticky notes because y'all know, and especially this size because I like to write totals down and things like that. And this is the perfect size. That way I don't have a big uh, sticky note. And then over here, I just have, again, some credit reminders, some finance reminders, um, pay off small credit cards first, save 10% of income, invest 5% of income into an IRA. These are just things that I find to be helpful when it comes to budgeting. Um, this came from Poi and Hun. You know, I just write a little reminder on, again, these are just some sticky notes and this was the only planner that it fit in. I think I hole punched it and it's the only planner that it fit in. So still there's small enough ones that I can grab for totals and things like that. And then sometimes because it stays on my desk, if I'm making an appointment and I'm at my desk, I can write it on this one. And just another sticky note on the back, and that is from Cloth and Paper. This was a vellum that was in my shop. Um, vellums have kind of disappeared from my shop only because of um, what was going on with getting goods into the country, and I can no longer offer the thick vellum, so I just took them out because I want to give you guys great, great quality. But this is one, so when the quality comes back or when they get back to um, shipping those vellum the correct vellum i'll put them back so nonetheless and then this is from cloth and paper i just wanted to try this out i felt like it would be great for um my budget planner and this is their weekly admin insert and i tried this out so this is back in what january yeah this is in january day i didn't even realize it so i just you know wrote some things down like bills that were due that week kind of like for an, a weekly overview i wanted to try it that way and then that way i wouldn't have to kind of write it down if that makes sense like look at in a list form so this way look at it in a weekly form i don't know so as you can see i only used it once 
And then here's the inbox vellum from Cloth and Paper. Of course, some sticky notes there from Cloth and Paper. And this was an old vellum from my shop. Know your worth, then add tax. As you can see, it's gotten wear and tear. Sticky notes, and these are some numbers to remind me of something. And this is from Rose Shadow Collection, this dashboard here, cloth and paper. Now, these monthlies, let me tell y'all about these monthlies. This particular one, I made myself, but then I realized that I made a mistake, so I redid them. I've been trying to bring monthly inserts to my shop forever, but I'll be honest with you, I've just been lazy, haven't sat down, and they were supposed to be for 2022, so that's something that I'm working on is for 2023 is to have a whole year worth of monthly, but they're going to be, like, I like them, I don't like um, it to run into a week, so they'll just be monthly calendars, I'll have probably undated and dated, I like dated because I just use a monthly and then these are from cloth and paper. They're in here too, and it's a year at a glance. I don't really use this, but it's just here. And then this was January from cloth and paper. I didn't use it. February. March. So I think in this one, no, I switched to mine eventually. And I like cloth and papers, but I really like their old style. So mine is kind of based off like the old style but different that's still cloth and paper and then this was april my birthday month so it's busy and um you know list of goals over here i just love a monthly calendar but i also in a monthly calendar like to have a list i have to have something to list on the side so that i can color code from one two i can write out goals um things is coming up that may not be um it is money related, but ne not necessarily need to go on a calendar, but just a reminder, like a birthday or Mother's Day, you know, just have that extra money. So May, May was kind of simple. And then this is the monthly at men from Cloth and Paper. And I was trying it out if I could just use a smaller scale. Um, and that's what I like about Cloth and Paper being subscribed because you can try some inserts out. Um, before they really come into their um, shop and then you can see if that's something that you would be interested in or want to you know order on a, a monthly basis or however often that you need them so i tried that color coded and i said you know i'm gonna do the color code instead of writing it but here we are i didn't use it but once and just some stickers these are from anika over at anika's creative closet and then these are some old ones from my shop then we have June, and again, that's why I like these little reminders here, these little um, sticky notes, because I can put them on a date, and they kind of cover the box. This is June 11th, so it will cover the box, and I can make a note, and I can put these ahead of time, and also I can move it if, if, if it's not fit for that day, and I need to move it to another day, I can just pick it up and move it, and I haven't made a... Um, you know, a permanent mark into my calendar. But I'm definitely a monthly calendar girl. I'm like old school, monthly, write it down. I don't know, I think it's just a double view and I prefer that they are on two pages. So here we are in July and this is just my July um, spread. It's very simple. I didn't color code or anything. I just needed to get my bills down. Of course, I add a little deco, which is just credit cards. And that's it's pretty simple. I don't even have anything over here because I just needed to get it down. And then here, I just have marked off that I'll be off um, work from the 25th through the 31st. I'll be out of town, but still, I have these things to do. So I've already paid PayPal. Um, that should be coming out. My car insurance should be coming out and then um, go daddy. So I know what I need to leave in my account. I haven't done August. I'll do August when we get back. I meant to actually do August before I left, but I wanted to get this video up before I left because I won't be doing a budget video this week because it'll basically be time for monthly. And um, yeah, that's it. So I'm trying to be quick. These dividers are from cloth and paper. I love them. So I just printed out uh, on my, um, silhouette made some clear tabs and that says monthly and this is from cloth and paper as well and so of course these inserts are from my shop and they are downloads digital downloads only i do not print 
and cut these. I've had people request for me to print and cut them for them. And if you send me a note, I'll do it, but I'll let you know that it's not gonna be perfect because I just don't have the heavy duty equipment to make everything, the cuts perfect. But it's on you. <laughs> now this week, again, I'll be out of town, so it won't get shipped until Saturday. And then here we are. So I have all my months and I like it because that way everything just kind of coincides with one another. And so this is, that was January. I think this was February and we hop back to March because we got off April. And then I like again, making my notes, May, June, July. And so this is July and this is what I paid already in the month of July. And actually I need to highlight these because I've paid Citibank, Barclays, haven't paid my car insurance. I have something set up for T-Mobile so we can X them out. So I'm just waiting. I paid PayPal, but I didn't do 50. So all I'm really waiting on is my car insurance and GoDaddy. I made an arrangement for T-Mobile. And then next we get into, oh, let me explain this. So what I was using these for were to let me know exactly where I needed to pull for, from when I'm coming into my planner. I only pretty much go to the monthly and the weekly. So that's like just a marker to let me know how to kind of quickly get there, even though I forget to use it. So then we have weekly. This is from Peach Palm, these right here. And then this is an old dashboard for my shop. Do it for the aesthetic. And again, that's Peach Palm. Rose Shadow Collection. And then we get into our weekly. And I have every week since February the 21st. I think that's when I really got back into my budget. And if I have January in here, it's probably in my file of my inserts. And sometimes I just use marker just for color for those who like to see a little color, but I could just write on it plain. And then here I made sticky notes that I got my chase card in April. Um, Rejoin Planet Fitness, which I'm about to cancel. Um, spent $100 at Safeway, you know, just things like that, that I need to make a note of and it's just perfect. So it's not, you know, neat but it's neat to me it's like i can function this way i can see what's going on and what i need to see so it works for me and then here i have like a monthly budget idea for 2020. i wanted to try out my old style because i'm trying to test out what i'll be adding for 2023 what really works so but i don't really like the latest one <laughs> but i just want to try this one and then here's another one another one sorry about that fan but I was hot so here um, we still got enough weeklies paycheck weeklies and then this is from cloth and paper cloth and paper uh, this is from cloth and paper and I just I'm not gonna go through all of this but pretty much some just budget stickers some dots in case I want to color code if I want to add um, holidays if I want to just do a little deco for holidays and these you can find in my shop and pretty much everything in here besides others you can find in my shop and then like these are oops I made them too big so I said I'm not gonna throw them away I'll just use them or you know so it's that you see it says oops so I just put them in here and in case I don't have my bill stickers I can just reach in here and find something that as a sticker and then this is my debt se debt section um, I don't know where this came from but that came from cloth and paper cloth and paper I think this came from Michaels this coffee clip and then cloth and paper I like uh, deco in my planner um, especially in my uh, budget planner not a whole lot I don't well let me back up I don't need a whole lot of deco in my budget planner, but I like things like this, little reminders, those type of deco, let me say that. <laughs> and then this is from Cloth and Paper as well. And then this is my debt tracker. This will be updated for 2023. I'll have a whole new uh, packet for all budget stuff. 
the whole new budget packet is going to be totally different um it's going to be updated it's going to be friendly for user friendly for everyone whether you're self-employed or um just get a paycheck so this is the debt tracker and this is me tracking t-mobile i need to fill it out so i have a lot in here because i had a lot of debt another dash cloth and paper and then for me this is business expense um i actually had a packet or a set for business owners a budget business owner set i just never released it i know and i've had it for about two years so i'm going <laughs> to update that as well because i want to basically turn that into a planner for my business owner so that they can just have one planner with everything in it and so that's business expense and i think this is from infinite lotus but i never used it i just couldn't um, it just didn't work for me it was like too small or something. I don't know. It wasn't light dark enough. I don't know. I can't remember, but it's just there. And then this is that snowball and how I've paid off everything and or paying off everything. I need to actually do an update and do a video on all of this. Um, debt snowball payoff. This is another one. It's just kind of extended. And then debt avalanche. I wanted to see um, like what my interest was. All the great things of trying to use either or so debt snowball or debt avalanche and as you can see debt snowball probably works best for me because i stopped at the high interest over here on debt avalanche that's that cloth and paper and i think this is from a glittery life plans rose shadow collection and then i just have notes here no pages they're just for decoration because I don't, I'm, they're too pretty to write on, but they're from Rose Shadow Collection. I don't know if she carries these anymore. You can check out her website. And then this is Sinking Funds. Of course, Sinking Funds are redone. I think this is one of the very first inserts I made, so it's not perfect, but you know, I just have things down. And then I love note paper, so I like to break things down first on note paper and then maybe put it on the insert. So this is like sink and funds breakdown. Just right now. Oops. And then here are the digital envelopes and it's labeled digital envelopes. So I had grocery gas, miscellaneous products, business supplies, car, and savings. And we have reached the end. You got, oh, and these are from, oh my goodness, uh, the planner spot. I loved her um, monthly and the way she does hers. And I think I did it maybe once, but you know, it's just here now and there's nothing here. But that really is all this in my budget planner. It works for me. Again, I like it so that I can just open up my planner and if I wanted to, I could just take this out as well. And if I take it out, it's just a notebook. It's like this. And let's say we want to go to the weekly. Well, let's go to monthly because we may want to do the monthly. And I have just enough monthlies in here to take me to the end of the year. I can do this. And I can just write on it. So that's what I love about this. Now, I've tried using a budget planner. I like a budget planner. I'm not going to say that I would never use a budget planner because that is in my future. But um, I also like this way um, with the disc again because I can use it as a notebook. I can stuff it as much as I want to. I can put in, I can decorate it. I can put in um, quotes. I can put in dashboards. Um, if I just didn't want anything in here but monthly and weekly, I mean, I could do that. So that's why this is my budget planner and i've been using this for a budget planner for about a year um before that i was like in the a5 which was fine um maybe a5 was my business plan i mean my yeah a5 was my business planner but i've also used the a5 for my budget but i just found i like half letter better it's not as big as a letter a letter is too big um it's not as big as a letter it's not big as a classic it's not as big as a wide as an A5, but this is perfect. So 
I presently use A5, I mean, excuse me, half letter. Um, again, I just love the size. It does not go out the house. It has no need to go out the house. Um, and also, like I said, if I wanted to, I could sell this because this has never left the house. Never, ever left the house. All I do is open and close it. <laughs> That's all I do is open and close it. So um, again, I like the notebook factor of it. So yeah, and actually I may be selling this planner um, because again, like I said, I could just use this. It's a decorative on the inside with just the glass. So yeah, that is that. All right, but thank you all so much for watching. If this is your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell and come back for more content such as this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.